Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Brand, the Burning Vengeance. Brand is a ranged nuker, specializing in area of effect damage and creating spell combinations with himself. Brand's passive is Blaze. All of Brand's abilities light their targets ablaze for a few seconds. Blaze deals a percentage of the target's max health every second. When any of Brand's abilities hits a target already ablaze, the spell gains a bonus effect and renews the ablaze debuff. Seer is a skill shot nuke, dealing damage when it strikes an enemy. If the target is ablaze, Brand also stuns the target for a short time. After a short delay, Pillar of Flame deals damage to all enemy units in an area. Targets already ablaze take significant bonus damage. Conflagration immediately damages target enemy. If the target is already ablaze, Conflagration also hits all nearby enemies. Brand's ultimate is Pyroclasm. Brand shoots out a fireball that bounces from target to target. The missile initially moves slowly, allowing enemies to spread out. However, if the fireball targets an enemy ablaze, the missile speeds up, going faster with every subsequent target ablaze. Brand can easily clear out ranged minions, lead with Pillar of Flame, wait for it to hit, and hit any of the targets with Conflagration. For maximum AoE damage, hit a target with Seer. Use Conflagration to light nearby enemies ablaze, and then use Pillar of Flame for the bonus damage from Blaze. If your target won't be able to dodge you, you essentially want to lead with Conflagration. Though I cast Pillar of Flame first, its delay allows me to light Cassiopeia ablaze before it hits, following up with Seer for the stun. With a little help, we kill her in about 3 seconds. Brand has excellent area of effect damage. Once Galio pulls everyone together, I open with Pillar of Flame, followed by Conflagration and Seer. While this combo doesn't maximize my damage output, you almost always want the stun from Seer when fighting champions. The best possible use of Pyroclasm is when two enemies are standing together. Immediately, Pantheon loses most of his health, getting killed by Lee Sin. Pillar of Flame has the longest cooldown out of Brand's regular abilities. Because of this, you may want to hold on to it when killing single champions near a teamfight. I take down Teemu with just Seer and Conflagration. In the next fight, I hold on to Pillar of Flame and Pyroclasm until our enemies group up. Immediately, I follow up on the survivors, taking down Cassiopeia with Seer. If you don't have a lot of teammates nearby, you have to be the biggest source of damage. We catch Blitzcrank, and I hit him with the default anti-champion combo. Conflagration, followed by an immediate Pillar of Flame and Seer. Noticing his proximity to Teemo, I toss out Pyroclasm before following him and killing Teemo with Seer. Looping back around, I see Pantheon and use the same combination again. Waiting on all my cooldowns, I also help take down Jarvan the same way. Our team gets ganked while attempting to kill Baron. Seeing Pantheon in front, I toss out Conflagration and Seer to stun him. Immediately, Blitzcrank comes, so I break them down with Pyroclasm. Cassiopeia comes in, and immediately I turn around to prevent the stun, following up with Conflagration for the kill. I turn to kill Jarvan, once more using Conflagration and a Pillar of Flame and Seer. Conveniently, with max cooldown reduction, I can chain Seer together for a stun, without other spells to help. I have Riley's Crystal Scepter to add slows to my abilities. As Sona gets chased by Teemo and Pantheon, I attempt to slow them both individually with Seer and Conflagration. As Cassiopeia jumps in, I kill her off with Pyroclasm, and heroically block the last tick of Ignite with Zonia's Hourglass. Seriously, I totally didn't die there. Zonia's Hourglass is a Burst Mage's best friend. I lead with Pillar of Flame to maximize my area of effect damage, tossing out Conflagration and Pyroclasm immediately afterwards. While waiting for my cooldowns, I activate Zonia's, keeping me alive while we kill three of them. I follow up, chasing down Teemo. Leading with Conflagration, he does a good job of dodging Seer. However, the slow from Riley's allows me to easily kill him with Pillar of Flame. Afterwards, I wait for Conflagration's cooldown. I turn back onto Cassiopeia, once more casting the anti-champion combo of Conflagration followed by Seer and Pillar of Flame. Once again, I'm assaulted by Jarvan and Pantheon. I lead Jarvan with my abilities, dropping him to half before the fight even starts. Immediately after casting Pyroclasm, I activate Zonia's again. For Pantheon, I toss out an immediate Conflagration plus Seer stun, casting Pillar of Flame as I leave. Because Brand is combo-based, sometimes you want to wait for cooldowns before even casting one spell. I'm getting chased by Cassiopeia, but have to wait for Conflagration to cast anything. Once I have it, I kill her from almost full health with my standard spell combo. 
In the background, I'll show off Bran's laning game, while detailing the build I use on him. I take Magic Penetration Marks, Mana Regeneration per level seals, 3 Magic Penetration Glyphs, 6 Ability Power per level Glyphs, and Flat Ability Power Quintessences. This setup allows me to reach exactly 30 Magic Penetration with just Sorcerer's Shoes, which will bring most champions to exactly 0 Magic Resist. I use 9021 Masteries, grabbing Ignite and Ghost. I max Conflagration early, followed by Pillar of Flame, with a point in Seer at level 3. Conflagration is Brand's most reliable damage spell, and then I just like the area of effect power from Pillar of Flame. For items, I start out with a Sapphire Crystal and two Health Potions. I rush Catalyst the Protector and Sorcerer's Shoes as quickly as possible. Rabidin's Death Cap is my next stop, and then I usually grab Void Staff, because my passive counts for a lot of my damage, but only scales with Magic Penetration, not Ability Power. Afterwards, I round out my items with Riley's Crystal Scepter to make my passive slow, Zonia's Hourglass to bait enemies into a cluster for my ultimate, and Banshee's Veil to aid my survivability. Thanks for tuning in to the Brand Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel and click the thumbs up to like this video.